morning everyone. I'm Dr. Alam Sbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoor Libraries. Today I want to discuss with you how to do swab for infection and how to do cervical smear for cytology. Okay? Okay. What we want uh, to have before the procedure. I want to have the cascus speculum like that. Okay? I want to ask the patient for certain precautions before she is coming for a swab, like no intercourse in the previous three days, no vaginal douche in the previous three days, no intravaginal suppository uh, antifungal or antibiotics and so on. So she is ready right now, like this case, in uh, my southern position, and I do speculum examination. Then. As you know, I insert the cascus speculum in this direction and between until the half of the cascus, then I rotate 90 degree, then I complete the insertion. After that, I open the plate of the speculum like that till I see the horseshoe in front of me. Okay? Mm. Now I'm going, I'm seeing the, this part which is the ectocervix, okay? Then I have cotton tip the swab. I take the swab from the external os like that. I rotate 360 degree. Then I withdraw the swab like that. Then I insert it without touching anything inside the tube and I send it for lab for examination under microscope and for culture and sensitivity test, okay? This is the cotton tip the swab for infection. Another way is to take another swab from the posterior fornix, posterior to the cervix. This part is called posterior fornix. Here is the anterior fornix, here is lateral fornices, and here is the posterior fornix. Again, we rotate 360 degrees, then withdraw the cotton tip the swab, then insert it inside the tube and send for the light. This is as regard swab for infection, and I do that if there is any discharge in sexual proximity disease and so on. What about smear, cervical smear for cytology as regard for screening for cervical carcinoma or CIN? So I wanted to diagnose the CIN early so I can manage it properly, and this is one of the important screening program all over the world. Okay, again, the same precautions as before. No vaginal dosh in the previous days, no intercourse, no vaginal suppository, broad spectrum antibiotic or antifungal. Then I insert the speculum. I can see right now the cervix. This part appear in front of me. Okay, I fix the speculum in this area. Then I use cytobrush. This tool is called cytobrush. I insert it in the external os like that, then rotate 360 degree, okay? Or another 360 degree, then remove it without touching anything, then spread on the slide like that. You spread on the slide like that, then fix with the spray like that. Then send for the lab for baptism. Okay? This is another way for cervical smearing is to put it inside saline bottle mm -hmm. and send also to the lab for cytological diagnosis. Okay? So either on a slide mm -hmm. and fix it with the spray or put it inside saline in a bottle containing saline and close it and send it for the lab. This is the use of cyto brush. Another cyto brush, but not available right now. The head is very small and round, and you can insert it inside the endo cervix and rotate it also 360 degree and the same as before, and send to the lab. This is the end of uh, my discussion about cotton swab for infection and cervical 
It's me, the Recycle Brush for CIM. Thank you.